Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer and moved to Arsenal. Kicking off today with Nolito. Uh, Nolito, of course, the Spanish forward who plays for Celta Vigo. He's 29 years of age and we're being told that he has a release clause of £13.8 million. The president of Celta Vigo, uh, Carlos Mourinho, said that the club will sell him if there's a club out there that meets his buyout clause. Of course, Nolito uh, scored in the last game for Spain. He's starting up front at the moment for um, Spain in the Euros. And, of course, there's a lot of interest around him. Celta Vigo looking to cash in. Arsenal, of course, been linked with Nolito before, but we were being told at that time that Arsenal were a bit worried about the age. Well, Vardy's 29, Nolito's 29. Not a prolific goal scorer in Nolito. And again, for me, we want a prolific goal scorer. But today, quite a lot of the media linking Arsenal with a move for Nolito and seemingly the club willing to sell him. And with not a lot of strikers available at the moment, I'm sure Arsenal are going to be taking a look at a lot of these sort of targets. Um, also linked today with Sufian Bouffal. Now, so or Sofian Bouffal, uh, um, he's a French player. Um, of Moroccan descent. He plays for Lille, 22 years of age, a very, very talented player. Everybody's raving over at the moment, attacking midfielder, valued between 20 to 25 million pounds. And there's a lot of the outlets going today, heavy with Arsenal being linked with him. He's also been linked with uh, Barcelona and Chelsea and Arsene Wenger is said to be a real big fan of his, so let's see what goes on with that one. Jason Murillo, uh, we've spoken about him before, uh, plays for Inter Milan, he's a centre-back. Now Sky Sports Italia claimed that Arsenal have made contact with his agent and are very interested in trying to um, do a deal to sign him. Inter Milan don't really want to sell him, they really, really rate this guy, but, um, you know, if money's coming in, they may be forced to sell. So, links today with uh, Jason Murillo. This one is a bit of a weird one. Daily Blind from Manchester United. I don't know where this one's come from. But right out of the blue, blue Daily Blind, the Sunday people today claiming that Arsenal may, may make a move for him if uh, Jose Mourinho decides to sell him. Um, of course, Mourinho coming in there and there will be changes to some of those players. Blind, who was a real favourite um, under Van Gaal, um, is worried about his position. He's even said, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with me. And uh, we're being linked with a £16 million move for him. I don't know. I can't see that one. Um, he's playing in defence. He's really a midfielder. We don't um, see us needing with, um, a defensive midfielder like Danny Blind. And certainly wouldn't put him in defence. So, but Blind being linked, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, another one to make all of the Arsenal Wenger fans happy. The, the Daily Mirror going big on this today. The Arsenal are set to offer a two-year extension to Arsenal Wenger. Um, the Mirror's to correspondent Steve Stammers says that Arsenal will give him a two-year extension. Um, they, he's also claiming that. If Arsene Wenger fails to get Jamie Vardy, he may switch his attention to Robert Lewandowski. I'm telling you what, this story is a bit ridiculous to me. First of all, when you read the story, there's no basis for what he said. I mean, we, we heard Wenger towards the end of the season and he was very angry in response to that question when they were saying, have you been offered a two-year extension? He said no, and he just wants to get on with what he's doing at the moment. And I think a lot of this story based on no facts when I read it. I mean, we'll switch his attention to Robert Lewandowski. If Robert Lewandowski was available, I'm sure he'd be the number one target and not Jamie Vardy. Listen, and the story goes on to say, oh, if if uh, Barca, if Bayern decide to sell him, Arsenal would... Come on, that's not going to happen right now. And if he did, it'd be Barcelona or Real Madrid, especially Real Madrid, he'd be hunting down Lewandowski. I just can't see that. So that story for me seemed a bit of a made-up story. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, 
Let's uh, move on to Alexis Sanchez. Congratulations to Alexis Sanchez. Uh, his team, uh, Chile, have reached the semi-finals of the Copa America. Of course, they won it last time out. A 7-0 demolition of Mexico. Wow. And uh, Alexis scored one of the goals, uh, made a couple of assists in the game. And they'll meet in the semi-finals with Colombia. So he'll be up against his teammate, David Ospina, in the semi-finals. But congratulations to him. That means that there's going to be at least one Arsenal player in the Copa America final. So congratulations to both of them. Well done to Alexis Sanchez. And on a more of a sort of sad note, Thomas Rizicki, it was confirmed yesterday by the uh, medical team of the Czech Republic that he suffered a thigh injury in the last game, which is going to rule him out of the um, rest of the tournament, which he was looking very good in, by the way. So, so, so sad. It, injuries have just ravaged his career, Thomas Rizicki. So he is out of the Euro. So very, very sad for him. Uh, let's get into a couple of your comments. Uh, Palk... Palk Paclopi, sorry, Paclopi says, um, I'm willing to welcome Morata. Um, remember yesterday I asked guys to ask you guys to make uh, comments on what you thought of Morata or Vardy. Uh, he said, I'm willing to welcome Morata, but anything above £20 million is way too much for him. Wow. Thus, I can't see Ireland, I can't see Arsenal, Ireland, Arsenal signing him. £20 million for Morata, he's worth more than that. Come on, he's a young guy, he's playing for Spain at the moment, leading their attack. He's definitely worth more than £20 million. Uh, Fazio knows best. He said that he thinks they're both average forwards. Uh, that's Vardy and uh, Morata. I don't agree with that either. Um, Lucas De La Cruz says, uh, maybe Morata is like Giroud, performing well for the national team, but not performing as well when he plays for his club. And uh, finally, Alex Barnett says, uh, a release clause cannot jump. It's legally binding because it's in the contract. That would have been set there from its inception. The only way the clause um, would be able to be written off would be with a new contract. And that was in, um, that was in response to yesterday when I was talking about the fact that it was being reported that uh, the contract release clause for Jamie Vardy had jumped 10 million according to some sources. Uh, I think that guy's right in what he says. So, that's it. More links again today. Um, listen, Nolito, is he the answer? Let me know in the comments below what you think of Nolito. Could he be the forward that could come in and do it for Arsenal? Thanks for watching the show today, and we'll be back around right about the same time tomorrow.